Patty Sark had her maiden voyage in 1869, and she epitomizes the idea of adventure, of the romance of sea. In the 1950s, they built a dock to float Katya Sark into, specifically to display the ship. Over the years, with London weather, the frame corroded and the ship gradually deformed and was becoming structurally unsound. The clock was ticking. You know, we had a couple of years and we were going to have to close the ship as an unsafe structure. We got the job to make a Heritage Lottery Fund application for a grant sufficient to do the conservation work. Actually making a viable museum with the ship was very key to getting that funding in the first place in order to conserve the ship. But the Cutisat Trust didn't own any land other than the dry dock. So there's very limited space for them to develop any extra facilities. I had a meeting with a client and uh, we said, well, why don't we lift the ship? And they all, everyone sort of thought, don't be ridiculous. I thought it was an absolutely extraordinary notion. I mean, it was, it was inspired, but it was completely outrageous. By lifting the ship, we could give them the space under the ship to use as a visitor center. It, it solved the problem of how do we stop the ship sagging? How do we support the, the ship? If we could lift the ship in a certain, and support her in a certain way to take the loads off the hull, which were distorting it. More than anything, that single idea allowed us to capture people's hearts and minds. Everything was going well. And then during the early stages of the ship being uh, worked on, a, there was an accident. I was in bed asleep um, and uh, the telephone rang downstairs. It was the fire officer. He said, ship is alight from stem to stern. You know, if you want to see her again, you're going to have to get here pretty quickly. Everyone thought, yeah, game's over. Nothing can be done now. It was a charred mess. But when one examined it further, in fact, all historic parts of the ship had already been taken off and was in Chatham in storage. The dramatic fire with all the flames was actually the builder's plywood boardings. And the basic ship actually survived. So it was a miraculous thing. Her Majesty the Queen opened the ship with great fanfare in, in, in 2012. Looking at the ship from outside, you're seeing what would have been above the sea. That was the, the conceptual idea. So that she seemed to be floating on a meniscus of glass, as if it were water, at water level on the ship. It's like it puts the wind in the sails of Katisa. It's quite an extraordinary solution. And when you're inside, you see the hull. I think actually it's one of the most extraordinary sights you can ever see if, you, if you're remotely interested in ships. To stand under that actual shape and see how the speed was achieved. And you could feel the speed with which uh, that ship must have roared along. You, you could just feel it. If you're tall enough, you can actually reach up and touch the underside of it. And if you, if you actually walk down the length of the keel, you can see all the fingerprints where people have done that. I was very disappointed to find that not everyone was so, you know, enjoyed it or understood it. In the same year that we won an RABA award, a Structural Design Award, and a Tourism Award, we got the Carbuncle Cup, which was very painful. People forget. You couldn't bloody see anything in there. It was dark, miserable, and it was about to fall down, and it was about to be thrown away. Now, I'm proud that we've sorted that out. We've got an accessible, interesting, conserved, treasure.
The public response to Cathy Sark was absolutely phenomenal. We had nearly half a million people within 16 to 18 months of opening our doors. We had 100% visitor satisfaction. You know, that, that's a documented fact. And I glory in the fact that now, underneath the ship, we have a space that can generate income for the, the ship to secure its long-term resilience. You see Cathy Sart released. And I'm, you know, absolutely thrilled that I came to Grimshaw's for it. <laughs>